We have traveled all over the world and been very fortunate not to get dirty fuel. Unfortunately, our luck has run out and today we're gonna solve that problem here on Gargoyle. Lots of activity aboard this morning. Uh, while our guests are still uh, hiding in the cabin, which is probably a good move, we are getting the boat ready because we picked up some contaminated fuel uh, somewhere here in Spain. And we've got the polisher guy, cleaner guy, coming to do our tanks. So we are having to pull our bed and mattress off and get it ready. Let me show you what we're doing. I think like a mattress on your salon table, but the last cabin, probably vacuuming, and those are our culprits right there. Here's hoping this isn't too bad of a fix because I see we have access panels, so it's probably not going to have to cut a hole, which is good, but let's see what happens. This is our primary fuel filter, and you can see we've got lots of material on the bottom. This is after two hours of motoring, so definitely need to resolve the issue in our fuel tank. We have two 60-gallon tanks here in our aft. Unfortunately, our starboard tank is empty, so what we are hoping he'll be able to do is polish the port side tank and move it into the starboard tank so that we don't have uh, to deal with moving diesel off the boat. But we will see what he says when he arrives. Hola. Hola. How are you? Good. Good. There you go. You stop the engine? Uh, no, it is still running, but we're filling up the uh, the filters. You know, the easy job. Okay. So not the complicate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm off the, the, the pipe, maybe. I'm out of the fuel. See? Si. See? Si. Polishing, storage. And I'm checking inside with the lights See? because normal this tank everything dry here in this corner where is your pipe? See it, all the time the pipe suck sludge. It out. sludge. So I need to suck yeah. this. Yep, we'll take so that out for you. Now. What the holes inside? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Perfect. Okay. I'll try plastic to prepare it. It starts. Okay. Perfect. Good. Now comes the hard work. This, the problem is this block. Adrian from Five Star is recommending we remove the stainless steel screen to avoid another blockage, but for now we've opted to leave it on and hopefully we don't have to do this for another five years. It's not water? No, it's okay. okay. Well, this is what I'm Maybe water. Oh yeah. Understand? Oh yeah. yeah. Red immediately. I understand? Yeah. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely water. Is water? Huh? Okay. Okay. This is the bottom of our Raycor filter and you can see the bacteria is plugged the drainage hole so we're going to have to take that apart too and clean it out but we definitely caught this early which is a good thing. Last 
step. Hmm? Putting the fuel back in. Okay, so we've got the fuel back in the tank. Just got to do cleanup and we're done. Special thanks to Adrian from Fuel Star Spain. It took less than two hours from his arrival to empty clean and add back our polished diesel. If you need any maintenance on your tanks when you're in the Balearics, make sure to give Adrian a call. Captain Kevin. You guys have a good walk. Yeah. I will keep the boat safe in this storm. It's good. Lock her down. Lock her down. Lock her down. We're going to leave Captain Kevin to relax. We're going to go for a little stroll. Maybe go check out a castle. This side of Palma is actually quite pleasant. Not even a breeze over here. But these guys are definitely getting a swell. I'm glad that we don't have to put up with this because this would be crazy. Google again has us taking the back route. Back in civilization. Okay. Since we go straight. a few more steps <sighs> we made it In the 14th century, when peace was secured, James II of Majorca decided to have his royal residence built in the shape of a circular fortress. The Balvira Castle was the residence of the kings of Majorca, a military prison throughout the 18th to 20th century, and now is a main tourist attraction for the island. After its restoration in 1976, it has become a well-appointed museum of archaeology, paintings, and currency. Its magnificent and well-preserved courtyard serves as a venue for various culture events throughout the year. The castle also houses the City History Museum perfect to help us understand the historical development of Palma under the Romans, the Moors, and the Christians. The arcades on the ground floor have Roman statues and the royal apartments are worth a visit. But the most beautiful jewel of the castle is undoubtedly the panoramic views of the city port and bay from its high hills. tour done based on the wind it's increased a little bit so we're gonna hoof it back to gargoyle that's right hoof it hoof it we thought we could make it without getting wet but that's not gonna happen but we're almost home back to the marina and it is miserable here Burr. Sweet home. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Why'd you break me? <laughs> uh, pictures. 
Jerry's hair. <laughs> that looks good. We have said farewell to Allie and Carrie this morning. They left in the darkness of night. They are on their way back to Canada. And now we are ready to depart Spain. So join us next week for our passage as we move east through the Mediterranean. Ciao for now.